Chapter 2, Review on Creating and Calling Procedures Learning Target, I can review my concepts on creating and calling procedures. Please note that next project is going to be graded as an assessment, so you need to do your 100% best, and that's why it's important to review your creating and calling procedures. Scene Procedures When do I create scene procedures? Now when you take a look at your animation and you see there are no repeating actions in your animation, it is just a story. So what you would do is take, divide the whole story into logical scenes. Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3 and so on. So when you see two or more objects that are interacting with each other such as alien robot annoying the alien, snowman getting attention of the snowwoman, create procedure for your super class scene. How do I create it? You would go to this class menu that's the hexagon shape and you would drop that arrow down select scene and then you can click on add scene procedure and then give the name of the procedure now sometimes when you take a look at your animation you would see a lot of repeating actions such as jump hop and you're going to take that repeating actions and create procedures for that now when you think about creating procedures you want to think about where do I create the procedure is it a two leg object is it a four leg object is it an object that can fly is it an object that can swim is it a prop object like the wall or a rock or tree or is it a transportation object let's take an example when when your world has different objects and each of the object is doing an independent action such as hop dance spin and it is not interacting with another object then you would create procedure for that specific superclass. Now if you take a look at my world, I have an alien, I have a bird, I have fish, I have cow, I have car, I have a castle wall. So when I create procedures, I need to think where should I create procedures. If alien is doing an act, that does not mean I would create procedure for alien. Now alien has two legs, that means he's a biped. So I would create procedure for a biped. Now next, bird is a flyer, it has wings, it can fly. So I would create procedure, not for the blue bird, but I would create procedure for the flyer. Next, I have a cow. I will not create procedure for the cow. Cow is a four-legged object and I would create a procedure for quadruped. Next we have fish. This is a clown fish and it can swim. So when I create a procedure, I'm not going to create a procedure only for this clown fish. I want all the fishes in the water can swim. So I'm going to create a procedure in my swimmer class. Next I have a car. Now this is a sports car and I want the car to drive. Since car is an automobile and it is used for transportation, I would create the procedure for transport class. So now when I create procedures, where should I create it? And I would create the procedures for a super class, but which super class should I create it for? Is it a two leg object? If yes, then you would create the procedure for the biped class. Is it a four leg object? If yes, you would create a procedure for quadruped class. Is it an object that can fly? If yes, then create the procedure for a flyer class. Is it an object that can swim? If yes, then create a procedure for the swimmer class. Is it a prop object? Then create a procedure for the prop class. Is it a transportation object? Then create the procedure for a transport class. Now once you're done creating your procedures, you have to use them and the programming term is called as calling procedures. And where would you call your procedures? You would call your procedures in my first method. Now my first method is like the driver of the car. The driver drives the car. Same example if we take a look into our Alice program. When I click on run, my first method runs this program. So every time I click on run, my first method runs this program. So my first method is like the driver of the car. Driver drives the car. My first method runs the program. So when I call procedures, the first thing I want to do is select my first method tab 
and then I would go to my instance menu and I would select the object or the scene that I need the procedure for and the third one is I would drag and drop my procedure into my editor in my first method and the last one is I would click on run to test to see if my animation works correctly now you're ready to create your final witch project for chapter 2 and it will be graded as an assessment so watch my next video on creating your final project